The number of people divorcing after the age of 50 has doubled since 1990, and there's even a term for it. It's called gray divorce. My guest, Teresa Thomas, creator of 50 Fun Things, says this event does not have to be a negative in your life. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. What we want to start, though, with is how did you create 50 Fun Things? I mean, even saying that makes you smile, right? Yeah, it does make me smile, and it also makes me smile to see all the good things that have been coming for other people from it. But the, the way that it started was uh, I was about to turn 50, and I had had not a good year. I am divorced, but I had... That year I had gone through a breakup mm -hmm. and I thought, I don't want to have another year like I just had and how can I kind of shape my life to be more of how I want it and not to fall into old patterns and to create new ones. So what I did was for my 50th birthday party, uh, and it doesn't have to be when you're 50, but it, for anybody, but for my 50th birthday party, I put together a chart of 50 things that I wanted to experience, and then I made copies and I handed it out to all of my friends and asked them to sign up for the things that they would like to do with me. And all of a sudden, possibilities started opening up. Some things were bigger and better and more wonderful than I thought. I strengthened my connections with my friendships and my, uh, my friends and my family. Um, and I had more joy, more things to look forward to kind of like this giddy excitement of like, ooh, what, what's, what's next? Mm -hmm. And just opened up this kind of world of curiosity and, and wonder and joy. And, and now you do this, and so yeah. you go to companies and help people figure this yeah. out. You're a motivational yes. speaker. Yes. And, and so in addition to that, so, and then you have gatherings. And so when the women show up, it's mostly women, right? That come you know, to it's actually, um, it is mostly women, but mm -hmm. we're really drawing a cross section of, of people. And the, a lot of men are speaking up about how much it's impacting them because it gives them that time to be self-reflective and mm -hmm. open up and be in a supportive environment. But it is, it is mostly women that are drawn to it. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the feedback that I'm getting is that they get a lot of clarity by mm -hmm. focusing on fun and joy and also around being uh, by other supportive people that want that in their lives. Mm -hmm. well, you, now, one of the things that you said that you kind of put out there is that uh, you wanted some fun travel. And you just recently got back from Italy, and that was part. And you did a workshop over there. I know. <laughs> I got, and it was because it was funny because I put together a 50 fun things chart after my birthday. I did one professionally, and mm -hmm. I said I wanted to go on one vacation a quarter, and then I wanted to get cool work gigs in warm, delightful places. And afterward, I got invited to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and then one of the workshop participants in 50 Fun Things asked me to facilitate it at her yoga retreat in Tuscany, Italy. And, and then another participant just asked if I would consider doing this in Maui. I'm like, oh my gosh. And, and not that like magic happens, but it's more like now that I'm clear of what I want, people can be responsive to it and ask, invite me to do things mm -hmm. that relate. And, and it's more clear and obvious to me when I should say yes to things because I've identified that it's important to me. Yeah, it's very intentional. And yeah. I know a lot of what we hear these days, either I'm reading about it or, or hearing about it from other people, is to be clear with what we want, mm -hmm. but also be very intentional every day when we get up to go about our right. business, right? Yeah. And so that's what's happening with you. Yeah, that's what's happening. And it's also a gratitude for the simple joys in life, like the simple joys we already have, things that don't have to cost a lot of money or simple like enjoying a sunset or enjoying your favorite cup of tea and having that be really a luxurious thing um, elevates that sense of appreciation mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. and, um, and one of the things that I've noticed is when things feel rough, if I start paying attention to the things that are bringing me joy, I realize actually my life is pretty darn good when I look at those little things. Mm -hmm. So when we go back to the divorce yeah. topic and we think about it's yeah. doubled since 1990 and they've got a term for a great divorce, um, you, one of your participants has been able to share her story of she was going through that and then she saw your workshop and that really started to change things in her life. Yeah, and she wrote a blog post that we'll have at 50funthings.com for your viewers to see later. But um, she shared, so the very first time she came to the 50 Fun Things workshop, she said that I could share her story and she was actually shell-shocked. She mm -hmm. um, had married her childhood sweetheart. They had been married for, I think it was 32 years. And um, she was divorced and kind of trying to find herself. And she said that when she signed up for the workshop, she didn't even know what fun was. She just mm -hmm. figured that she kind of had to relearn fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's really quiet in that first workshop and just kind of taking it in. 
and then uh, alumni can come again mm. at a lower rate. So she came okay. again, uh -huh. and she was checking people in and greeting people. And, and when I was giving the workshop, she chimed in with some examples of things that she had done. And she had blossomed into this really joyful person. And she um, attributed it to you know voicing what she wanted, trying some new things. Um, she found herself dancing in her kitchen. Uh, and uh, she, she moved into a condo, made it how she wanted, hung up the artwork that she liked, took over the whole bed when she, You're right. <laughs> when she, when she wanted to, right? And she met one of her neighbors in the condo and she, the, the two of them hit it off and they went out dancing and, and just life kind of just opened up mm -hmm. for her. And, mm -hmm. and she said, it's not like life is suddenly easy, mm -hmm. but it's just, she's got more to look forward to, deeper connections, more, um, she better understands what brings her joy and how she can have that in her life. Okay, so how can people find out about your workshops? What's coming up? Yeah, well, the easiest way is to go to 50, like the number 50funthings.com, mm -hmm. and there's an event calendar on there. So as we add things, we put that on there. Mm -hmm. And we have workshops and we have social mixers. Um, our next workshop scheduled for the public is December 8th, 2018, mm -hmm. and um, but we may add some others. We're also starting to do more private parties, so if somebody is doing some kind of celebration, this is a way to bring that in. Mm -hmm. And like you said, corporate wellness types mm -hmm. of events right. as well. So yeah. All kinds of things happening for you. Yes. Be intentional about it. Being intentional. Put it out there, right? Right. Put it on your calendar. Yes. Look, look at all the quarterly vacations you're taking. I know, I know, and I, I've already got plans for going back to Europe next spring, and it, it's, I can hardly talk because I'm so right. excited about how, oh, like, I bet, I know, how fun. I'm back, I'm, I know. I'm finding myself. And, Very good. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining me. Thank I really you so appreciate much. it. I'm going to tell our viewers that they can find out, again, a little bit more about what Teresa Thomas is doing. Just head to her website and click on 550funthings.com.